Let's talk tennis now. First, the prosaic details in case you missed all the action on Sunday. There is a new French Open men's champion. And no, he's not one of the much-wanted younger guns. Instead, he's a 36-year-old father of two. Novak Djokovic, the same guy who won the Australian Open this year, that was hard court. In Paris, it was clay. And there's a big difference, as anyone who plays tennis will tell you. But when you're Djokovic, it's triple talk. With this win, the Serb now has 23 Grand Slam titles, more than anyone else in men's history. His closest competitor is Rafael Nadal with 22 titles. Nadal missed the French Open due to injury and his return to the court remains uncertain. Then you have Roger Federer, the eternal fan favourite. He retired last year with 20 Grand Slam titles. For the last two decades, these three have shattered almost all tennis records. But the real winner has been the sport itself. Three superstars playing in the same era. It has never happened before and unlikely to happen again. And don't get me wrong, there have been many great rivalries in the past. Bjorn Borg versus John McEnroe. Pete Sampras versus Andre Agassi. But Federer versus Nadal versus Djokovic has been a treat like no other. Even the newly crowned French Open champion acknowledged it. Like Djokovic mentioned, the big three were originally the big four. Making up the quartet was Andy Murray. His career has been waylaid due to injuries. The Brit still plays, but with a metal hip. While Murray is a shadow of his former self on the tennis court, it tells us the stuff champions are made of, even when they're not winning. But back to winning. Among the big three, initially, it was Federer and Nadal who hogged all the limelight. Federer's artistry on court, Nadal's grit, their great rivalry, and their even greater bromance. Djokovic was almost always an afterthought, the court jester. If it were a movie, he would be the friend of the protagonist, or sidekick, if you were to be uncharitable. But Djokovic had a different script in mind. The court jester has not lost a sense of humor, but that steely determination is still clear. While Djokovic started out in the shadow of Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, in recent years, he has eclipsed them. His tennis turnaround has been dramatic, to put it mildly. He was always good, but suddenly he leapfrogged to being almost unbeatable. From war-torn Serbia to the Tennis Hall of Fame, this journey has been remarkable. His parents admit they put all their resources to help their eldest son achieve his dream, so much so that they now feel guilty of neglecting his two younger brothers. They're also tennis players, but their careers never reached the vertiginous heights of Djokovic's. But then again, how many can? This happens once in a lifetime, and that too if you're lucky. So is Djokovic the greatest male player of all time? The record books say so. But if you ask the fans, the answer is not so straightforward. While Djokovic's dedicated fan base, is Noel fan, would vociferously agree, Federer and Nadal supporters, and there's a sizable number of them, would disagree. Plus, Djokovic has always been controversy's child, from being an anti-vaxxer to his recent remarks on Kosovo. Winning on court has been far easier for the Serb than winning the hearts of tennis fans. And it has been a sore spot for him too. Especially because Federer and Nadal are so universally loved. Now you would think, if Djokovic has the most Grand Slams, then he is the greatest of all time or GOAT. Well, statistically, yes. But you seldom choose your heroes based on statistics. It's more like a one-sided love story without much logic or reason. When asked if he thought he deserved the GOAT title, Djokovic chose to play it safe. But he's not thinking of his legacy. He's thinking about Wimbledon, the next Grand Slam tournament. Because he is nowhere close to being done, there is still plenty left in the tank. 36-year-old and at the top of his game despite all odds. Players half his age can't seem to find a way to beat him. Just a few years ago, it would be curtains down on your sporting career if you touch 30. Djokovic, who's back to being number one is defying those odds and how. But then again, the Serb has been rewriting history for decades now, from one to 23 Grand Slams and counting.